Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haro and normally I make a lot of Aruba videos but thank you for clicking on this one. Today we are in Cartagena which is like a coast of uh, Colombia, northern Colombia, northwest in Colombia. We did drive here uh, this morning from Barranquilla which is like a two hour drive uh, with the bus and right now we are going to do like uh, an inspection inspection of the Las Americas Hotel so you can get an idea of this one first but later on we'll have a lot of activities throughout the day and we'll finish later on tonight so thank you for clicking hang around I hope you like this one let's go The one thing I've learned throughout my travels to Colombia is that they always welcome you with a smile, drink and some good music. In this video we'll be checking out some hotels which may be of your interest if you are planning a visit to Cartagena. Should you have missed my previous two videos of this trip, please stick around and I will leave a link to them at the end of this one. Now let's start with the Las Americas Hotel. So they have uh, like a nice area for here for the kids to play, even the rock climbing. So they got this one also and a tennis court back there. They have different restaurants uh, here in the front of the lobby. So like the front, I mean like at the beach side and the beach is situated on like the, the back side of the hotel and we are checking out some of the rooms and some wow that's a big iguana my goodness <laughs> oh my god that is huge and they have a lot of nice looking swimming pools by the way We are checking the tower next door and this one is the new tower and it definitely definitely uh, looks a lot better, not a lot better, a lot more modern and you can see the, the different facilities also. This is all part of the Las Americas Hotel. And from this level we can check out also part of the beach. I don't think we're gonna walk towards it. And uh, to be honest, uh, the beaches from Aruba do look a whole lot better than this one. But at least it's an option for those who do like swimming here. We are now going to check out one of the rooms right here at this more modern tower. And wow, what a view. <laughs> What a beautiful view. This is an amazing view. This resort is situated at the northern part of the city at an area called La Boquilla. Along it, you may also find hotels like the Sonesta and the Radisson. As you saw previously, like we are next, uh, right next to the airport of Cartagena, and it, uh, it surprised me totally that to see that airplane fly so low. And I knew a little bit because I'm a little bit into fly simulators and things like that. So as I mentioned, I'm a little bit of an aviation freak, and it was so cool to see this. And this would definitely be one of those um, those hotels that I would love to stay here just to watch the airplanes, among other things. And 
the actual capital and the more center of the city is heading that way and we are going there next. This is great. Welcome to Cartagena. So our bus just left us just outside the Cartagena walls. Which are these. And we're gonna go on the inside now, which Cartagena is known for a real to be a really old city. It's got walls all around the the, the city, the old town of it. And we can start to appreciate some of the buildings. Uh, Let's see what this one says. Charleston, Santa Teresa, that's where we are right now. And this should be a very, very interesting walk. Wow, the old lady with the bananas. Hello. <laughs> and look at that beautiful colonial style buildings. So we're gonna do a walk around, a walking tour here around the uh, old town and it's going to be like an hour more or less. La idea es disfrutar y aprender la cultura y un poco la historia cartagenera. Bienvenidos a Cartagena, hay gente buena en este flow que siempre persevera, el magnate. Tiene un peinado excelente, con que se para el pelo, mujerlo con corriente. Dígame la verdad, papá, usted es el magnate. Tiene pinta carrotera y demasiado yate, tú no hay disparate. Es Cartagena, lo viniste blanco, pero tu piel de aquí se va morena. Por este sol que quema, líder la playa y la arena. Tú sabes, así lo hacemos en las calles Cartagena. Wow. The walled old town is situated in the port and was founded in the 16th century. It features squares, cobblestone streets, art structures and colorful colonial buildings. Es la única ciudad en toda Colombia que celebra sus fiestas de independencia, Cartagena. Y comienza desde el 1 de noviembre hasta el 11 de noviembre. Cada día tenemos una festividad diferente. Además de eso, también escogemos a la chica más linda del país para que nos represente en Miss Universo. Obviously, as you can see, there are many of the goodies that they sell here in the city. A lot of the Colombian style goodies. And uh, we are walking pretty fast, so otherwise I would have tried a few of these. nice restaurant we are taking a break and doing lunch right now we're gonna go to the second floor a great way to briefly cool off from the heat is to have lunch at one of the many restaurants it's also a good way to visit and appreciate these old buildings from the inside I personally loved the old tiles Blending 
and some salad. We'll finish this one with the group and then we'll go to a boat ride to Isla Bote. Let's go! I hope you guys like the visit to the old port of Cartagena. Now we are going to take a boat and go to the Bayou. And then, as I said, the lunch was very good, but we're a little bit worried now with the bumping of the, the boat. Hopefully it will go well uh, for all of us. The boat ride was certainly one of the highlights and fun part of this day. We did make a change in plans though and decided to first make a stop at the Palmarito Beach. Welcome to Palomito Beach. Palmarito Beach is first and foremost a party place with great music and a young crowd. You can however also stay the night here, have dinner, party and much more including spa and water sports. Staying here you could watch the part of the Cartagena city from your balcon balcony. And so you can spend the day here at the beach only and do some water sports or you can actually stay the night here which is the option that is recommended. After a, a little bit of a longer boat ride uh, further south, we are now at uh, the Baru Island and we're gonna check out the Sofitel Hotel. And uh, apparently it's one of the nicest ones. Uh, we can not really understand that from what we are seeing so far, but this is the access from the water but there is a road access also from Cartagena, so from the city. And so no worries, you can get here with a car. Este es el Hotel Sofitel Barú, es la nueva propiedad de Sofitel en Sudamérica. Abrimos en noviembre del año pasado, así que es un hotel bastante nuevo. So the way that they receive us everywhere is with a welcome drink and we're gonna have that one. This place looks really good right now. I'm gonna enjoy this one and take a look and get some shots for you guys. We then proceeded to check out some of the rooms and I quickly understood why they are calling this one one of the nicest hotels in all of Colombia. So we're going to check out the suite now. Oh, there part of the group is already in here. Wow. 
This is amazing. The view, and there is even a small bathtub, jacuzzi style. An amazing, amazing view. And where we were a moment ago was down there, so at the bar, and oh my gosh, didn't even realize this. Wow. Buenas tardes, gracias. This is one of the best things that I've gotten in quite a while. A wet uh, cold towel against the heat. And I have to admit, it's not that hot, but since we are outside most of the day, this really helps. Where we are now walking is the lobby and I have to say this this property is really really amazing and so the lobby is uh, like on the higher level because you can access with uh, via the road as I mentioned so I'm gonna have uh, an Aguila beer now uh, the other night I drank a Club Colombia Not a beat beer expert, but I do believe this one is not so strong as the other one. But I actually like this one also. I love the the colors and the name of it. After this quick but beautiful inspection at the Sofitel, we started to head back to the city and it was, as expected, a beautiful sunset boat ride. I highly recommend you to do a boat tour in the port. Next, we are heading to the colorful Getsemani area to check it out. We are checking out now the, all of the flags and the one from Aruba is right up there. And I believe back there, there is the one from Curacao. And is that one from Bonaire? It does seem like it. Now, we are going to check out a ho another hotel, I do believe, and have dinner. Beautiful street. Every time you think you've seen the best, there's always something new to impress you, and the Capiang Boutique Hotel was no exception. What an incredible looking property also in uh, Cartagena. Definitely giving you some different options. And I know that this one is not your typical travel vlog. This is part of my actual job as a travel uh, consultant. This is what we do. We visit the properties, we visit destinations, and we check out and try to sell them. We are just getting to the rooftop bar 
And from the rooftop you can see the where we were with the flags all throughout this street all the way going back there and there are obviously more properties in this area where you can also stay options options and more options and of course the welcome drinks Having completed the inspection, we headed for a walk along an area which I found to be the most interesting and colorful of the day. So in this street there are, as you can see, a lot of street art and they all look really amazing but they're rushing us for the dinner unfortunately so I cannot keep getting some shots for you guys but I'm trying to do my best. One of those things that I mostly enjoy when traveling is that feeling of mingling with the locals and experiencing, even if just briefly, what and how it means to live there. This was definitely one of those areas. This is like a really, really nice neighborhood. And from what we understood, uh, this area has been like, it's been uh, revamped uh, over the last five years or so. So they are working hard to uh, make sure that this uh, sector, this area of Cartagena is also, um, you know, like progressing. After strolling through the streets, we headed to the nearby 7x rooftop bar and restaurant for our dinner. That one is very good. To wrap up our day, we briefly check out the nightclub downstairs before heading back to Barranquilla. I want to thank you for watching till the end and be pending for more from Colombia. Till next time. <laughs>